Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more EU4, Baltic Crusader playing as the Teutons. We did beat up Brandenburg last time, cost me a little bit in terms of manpower, but it was quite fun to do. Now we are thinking about when we can attack Poland, and I did pick up an alliance with Muscovy at a very good time, and I'm starting to think that that might be a good option for me, especially if Hungary stays the heck out of here. I'm going to go ahead and start building up a spy network against Poland, just because it'll make it a lot easier for me to get some forts down, obviously. I am thinking I'm going to want to break off the relationship here with the Livonian Order relatively soon, but maybe not quite yet. I mean, we could, but... Technically, they could be a defensive ally for now, maybe, sort of. So, I don't know. I'll hold on to it for a minute. There's no reason to get the truce going, because once I'm done with the war against Poland Lithuania, I most likely will be exhausted and unable to take advantage of these guys right away. What scares me is that Muscovy is going to take a lot of territory I want out of Novgorod, especially if they can get all the way up to Neva. Wouldn't surprise me if they can pull that off. It would just be very unfortunate if they do. Austria is once again going to be the Emperor, unsurprising. You want to just go ahead and buy a stability? I don't see why not. Let's buy a stability. Stability is good, reduces unrest, gets me more income. Everything good comes from stability. We like stability. Okay? That's just the way of the world. As soon as January rolls around, I think I am going to pick up the military tech, which gets me a tactics advantage, as well as some combat with fire and shock for my infantry, all of which are, it show happens, quite good. Very, very quite good. I do want to start the annexation. Oh. All right, Muscovy did just take a lot of stuff that I wanted. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I know some strategies for the Baltic Crusader involve not doing what I did down over here, uh, and instead making a beeline for the Livonian Order and for Novgorod. Um, and those probably are better strategies than what I just did. I'm kind of playing what I would consider to be a more traditional, non-achievement focused game, where I'm just trying to build up a good power base, and I think I've done so fairly successfully. But, if we're going for the achievement, then yeah, maybe I should have focused Novgorod. Oh well, I mean, didn't happen, but oh well, I think we'll live. So, tech time. Um, let's go ahead and pick this up now. And you guys are at tech 4 versus my 6. We have a military advantage over Poland, a substantial one. He might get to tech 5 soon, but I mean, that's mainly because he has a level 1 military skill king. He might get to tech 5, but I'll still have a military advantage over him. Oh, dude, I'm just saying, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, if we can finish up over here, Mr. Um, okay, you're taking too long. I want to declare the war. If, I, if I'm patient and I wait just like five more months, four more months, eight more months... No, that's four. Uh, we'll be able to finish this off. Verden is no longer transferring their trade power. Okay, Trade League of Novgorod disbanded. Completely unsurprising, given the situation. Muscovy has a pretty good number of troops sitting around right now, I'm just saying. Dude, we could take them. We could take Poland. And if I can take a lot of territory myself down over here... That's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. I'd like to just go ahead and take these entire states. All of these. And if I can take all of this and hand off just enough to Muscovy to make them like me and stay an ally for at least a while, I could continue beating on Poland and Lithuania for a while. The question becomes, when do I want to fight Muscovy? But I don't want to fight Muscovy anytime soon because they already took the stuff I might have rushed for up here. So they're going to be building up their power base until I can find some other allies strong enough to let me challenge Muscovy. So now the only good way for me to beat them is for me to ramp up in power faster than they do. Always a tricky thing to do against, um, oh, there we go, we ease the tensions. Um, always a tricky thing to do when you're going up against uh, a Russia. Russia's scary. Trustworthy allies, Diplo rep, yay! Acquire subjects, annexation cost reduction, yay! It's too bad the Teutons have a generic mission tree. They really deserve something bigger, I think. All right, let's go ahead and start the annexation of Brolgas. That's going to take me a little while for my... Uh, my, uh, annexation be done. It's actually already 3%. We're only a month in. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, we still have the Discipline Advisor. How am I doing in terms of money? Not bad. We can afford at least a little bit more troops. Do I want more troops, or would I rather go ahead and get myself the free company? That would kick me pretty heavily over my force limit. I think I might prefer to go ahead and get some extra troops and work my way naturally up to that force limit. 
rather than go so far over, especially if we're going to have a huge numbers advantage. Need to be careful, though. I need to save some money to hand off to Bohemia and get them to pay off their debts. I don't like, by the way, that this is a recurring issue I'm having a lot in Emperor, uh, as far as the patch is concerned, or this latest expansion. I feel like I'm paying off allies... Um, oh, dang it. I feel like I'm paying off allies' debts a lot more often than I used to. Like, way more often. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull our map back for a second. Let's take a quick look-see. Poland! Muscovy still wouldn't join. Ah. Earlier... Oh, I misread this, didn't I? Okay, hang on. Um, call in Saxony. So 24 and 8. Versus there. They have uh, 58,000 troops. Right now I'm sitting at 32. Bohemia could add 14 more onto that. So it'd be 46 versus 58. But I have two tech advantages. So could I win this? Let's see if I can just send you um, 50 ducats and see if that'll be enough. It may or may not. It is. Why do the Livonians have to like Poland? Because they could have made... Well, 5,000 troops is practically nothing. What I could do is ask you to prepare for war. 20 more reasons to join. How far off were you? Because I don't necessarily want their help to fight, per se, so much as I want them to be a punching bag. 20 more reasons still wouldn't be enough. I need to build up trust as well, which takes another 10 favors. Yeah, I don't think I can get the Livonians to join. But... That's actually 45. 45 versus 58. And Stettin, realistically, is in a position for me to stack wipe. If we stack wiped Stettin's army, that 58 quickly goes down to 52, 45 versus 52. If we can pick off small stacks and get him stuck on some forts, we possibly could win. We just have to be intelligent about where we attack him. I should just go ahead and be clear. I want all this. At least Bohemia is not saying they want anything in particular. That's good. <sighs> Who's your other ally? Seely? I won't be able to stack wipe Seely's army, obviously. I think we could do it. But I do think it's a little bit closer than I otherwise might have liked. Especially since I don't have an absolute ton of manpower that I'm sitting on right now. By the way, Mecklenburg was able to uh, core Lundberg without any issues, so that's pretty awesome. Would I actually be able to stack White Brandenburg? They hate me. They wouldn't give me military access. Which is ironic, by the way, because if you did, I could kill Stettin for you. Still. This would also be a way for me to try and get Stettin to break away from Denmark and from Poland, so I'd be able to vassalize them in the future. <laughs> yeah, all true, all true. You don't have enough troops for this. You're literally just sitting here taking attrition and dying. So, the thing that scares me about waiting on this is Hungary getting out of debt. They're not going to anytime soon. Polish diplomatic reputation sucks right now. Yeah, Hungary is not going to be a threat for a while. What I want is for Poland to get into a war somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, guys. 
I want to jump on him right now. But I'm honestly not convinced that I can do so and win. It will take some good plays by me. It will require me deathballing, smashing his troops in very advantageous fights. We got a cardinal, sweet. Uh, very advantageous fights. And pray that I don't run out of manpower. Let's just try to become the Papal Controller. We'll take a small chance. Why not? Hmm. And do I want to wait until I've annexed Volgast? We did want to get this. Wait a minute. Okay, hang on. Add an ideas. Pick that up. Get an idea group. If we take a military idea group right now, we could get something. Quality ideas for the infantry combat ability would actually let me stack up a lot more combat modifiers. Quantity ideas doesn't let me fight big right now, but it lets me get my manpower back up. Obviously, we can't go for uh, economic. And you might think that I would go for a... Uh, sorry, administrative. But you might think I want to go for a religious idea group, but I actually don't. I don't think we're going to need the help of the conversion of the Orthodox. I think that's going to be fine. Um, not going to go for tri uh, diplomatic. We're behind tech on that anyway. It's definitely going to be military. Um, quantity is tempting because what I would probably go for... As far as an admin idea group in the future might be economic. Because that gets me a lot of money. And I need a lot of money. This combines with economic pretty well, if I recall. Yes. Land force limit and a development cost modifier. Do you do well with trade? Yes. Goods produce modifier. Yeah, quantity is good. It will go well with the two economic groups I'll want. Quality can get discipline with economic, which is actually quite good as well. And trade efficiency. Good lord. Economic, trade, quality, quantity. Boom. You can never go wrong with that group. It's always so stinking good. If I can get quantity ideas and make it work, what it will do for the future is give me enough of a force limit that I can take on Poland without needing help from Muscovy. If I go for uh, quality, it will give me a chance to win fights earlier. I'm going to go for quantity. I think that the manpower boost is going to be pretty huge. Let's pick that up. See, aren't we glad that we got that military power now a little bit earlier? There's still a military tech level 4. That is probably the number one thing that is making me think that it would be a really good idea. To go and fight against Poland right now. If they're at tech 4, I can, I can kill that. I can kill that. Right? Me thinketh? Why can't I group you? Oh, I forgot that I had these guys mothballed. We should unmothball the fleet and start building that up. I'm going to want that to uh, blockade Stetton. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to go ahead and go to the war. And uh, as long as I play intelligently, we will be fine. If I play stupidly, we will die. It's that simple. That's all there is to it. Nothing else I can say. Still generating enough Diplo power, by the way, that the second I have Volgast under control, I can definitely accept Pomeranian as an accepted culture. And that would be pretty good. Do I have to be at peace for that? I don't remember. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Eh, whatever. Expiring CB. Don't care. It's fine. New Monarch in Brandenburg. Stetton is leaving. Hello! Where are you going, Stetton? Are you going back to home? Because if so, I'll stack wipe you. I'll do it. Let's go ahead and pull my guy back. That's where he went. As long as my vassals come here with their ships, Stetton can't do anything to me. So. We call in Bohemia and Saxony. There's still nothing I can do to get the Livonian Order in on this. Pretty sure. So we are going to do a conquest war, not for my vassal. We do not have a fort here, right? Yeah. We'll say that Naklo is going to be the war goal. And with these troops, I think we've got a chance. Are we ready for it? Because we're going. All right, time to die, Stetton. Seriously, 
come, come and die. Uh, my fleet is on its way to engage with you. I cannot pull them back, so I really hope my vassals do something useful. You escaped. How? How many troops do I need here? It's a ugh, nine. Nine? Me no likey. Rule challenge, 10 devotion. Okay, they're gonna retreat back to Stettin if I can crush this. Hang on. Never mind, stack wipe, even better. Alright, so Saxony's on their way, Bohemia's on their way. I am going to say this is going to be the war goal of Volgast over there. Maybe you guys can go do that. I'm going to leave behind somebody. Let's go grab the war goal. Let's keep our troops together. I do see... Oh, no! I forgot to unmothball my forts first like an idiot. Of course. It's all right. Um, let's see if we can get our vassals to come and assist us over here. No, Bohemia, don't... I don't need your help, Bohemia. Seed Stolp to the Teutonic Order. I am the Teutonic Order. Oh, I can make Volgast hand it over to me. I don't care if they dislike me, I'm already annexing them. But if I don't annex it, I don't have to core, I don't have to core it and turn it into a state. I'll just leave it as, let's just re revoke the, the thing, we don't care. All right, we need to go for some death stacks then. Bohemia, come and follow me. They're sitting at my capital, which I can't allow. They're splitting up some forces. Bohemia has decided that it's more important for them to go fight over there. Fine. Let's even catch out a stack before they get away. Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe. Of course, we're now getting into dangerous territory because I don't know where they are. But we're going to take the fight anyway. I've got good drill and superior tech. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes! Okay, that worked. <laughs> Crushed! Suffer for your crimes! Uh, let's put a new general in charge as soon as we get back into my territory. I will want some people to help me siege down the capital of Poland since they left it. No, this is Plock. Warsaw's right here. Never mind. Haha. -ha. Can we get another general? Yeah, siege value. Get over here. Start unseaging this fort, because I was an idiot and I shouldn't have let that go. Uh, we just crushed 20,000 troops. Turns out that's pretty good. If you didn't know. It's pretty darn good. Don't stack up over here. Don't even stack up anywhere. Go siege stuff down. Tell you what. Vassals, we've got, we've got a little time. Uh, why don't you guys just go be um, in siege mode? Go siege things down. Until I tell you otherwise. Let's just go ahead and apply a little bit of damage to them. Seely's down here, and they are trying to siege down a fort in Bohemia. Perfect. The more that my allies are punching bags, the less I have to worry. I like this. Also, Warsaw is only a level 1 fort. We got a good chance of being able to get down there. Where are you going? You decided it's better to go and fight in Lithuania. Uh, I don't think I agree with that decision. All right, never mind. Since you guys decided you're going to go and fight in stupid places, we're not we're not taking that risk. We're not doing that. Uh, so since Plock is down, let's actually keep people um, joining up over here. Let's go to Warsaw. This is one area where Poland may very well want to fight, but most of their troops are currently down over here. An Italian engineer for money for power. Yes. Absolutely worth it. Thank you. Stettin wants out. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Volgas can take some territory. Really? The only problem with doing this is I have a rather massive coalition, and I'm also about to take a lot of aggressive expansion as it is. So what I'm going to do is make you give up your allies. I'm going to make you uh, give me your money. As much as I can take, really. Which apparently is not that much. Take 46. War reparations, break off the alliances. I will come back for you. But for now, let's just get you out of this. If I try to take any land, it's going to create so much aggressive expansion, the HRE is going to kill me. So let's just do that. That puts me in a much better position for the future. Much better position. Um, Lithuania and such, I don't think they have any navy. No one else has a navy, right? No, Lithuania does have some ships. Where do you have a dock? Down over here, right? Yeah, there's no threat there. Okay, so let's go and uh, take my ch my trade ships and just go ahead and get some more money. Protect trade in the Baltic Sea. So this is where I was saying that having an advantage in terms of tech and also Teutonic military ideas are pretty good. Turns out that was a pretty brutal stack wipe. Hey, can you guys go and assist here with Saxony? 
because he's about to get jumped on. Looks like they're going for it right now, which is good. Bohemia's nearby. If you guys jump on this, you can push him back. I say do it. There we go. There we go. Getting in there. Lots of troops. We just won our siege back. Good. Let's head down there ourselves. Okay, we got good numbers, and we managed to get them to back off. Perfect. So, let's just sort of slowly carpet siege up. I like what they're doing over here. This is looking good. Wait. You've got a lot of troops nearby. Are you coming after me? Let's back up a little bit. Mission fulfilled. High income. Sweet. Why not? Okay, so he's going back down. All right, let's keep our troops nearby, ready to go to defend over here for now. Uh, Lithuania is backing off, which is good. Let's grab some extra prestige and some support for the Renaissance. Maybe I can take... The, if Bohemia's going to join up with me, maybe I can take this stack to go hunting. We can just go crush his armies. Stettin allied Oldenburg. Fine by me. Hey, join up with me. Stack up. Hey, we got Warsaw. Never mind. We need to go and save these guys. And you guys can start working on Krakow. Krakow. Can we get troops over here fast enough? Bleh, questionable. We can trickle a lot in. Looks like we can win it. There we go. Got him. All right, we should win this fort. There it goes. Perfect. Um, you guys are stacked up to me, so I say we go hunting. That's what this stack's gonna do. Actually, I need a better general if we're gonna go hunting. Let's move into a friendly territory real quick. Grab you. You have better maneuver and stuff anyway. There's a 13 stack buzzing around. There's 16,000 right there. We've got army advantage. Let's go for it. Before he can bring more of his troops back down here. His numbers are still pretty good, but not good enough. Where are you going? Lublin. You're going this way. Can we catch you? Yes, we can in Farmlands. That's great. So we're about to smash Lithuanian army. Not quite a stack wipe, but we sure as heck did get a lot of extra damage. And we have a cavalry flanking ability, which is going to be pretty strong. So there's Poland's troops up there. If we can go ahead and track you down and crush right here. Now, woods are not great, but we have some reinforcements nearby, and I'd rather take this fight now. We've successfully integrated Volgast. Thank you. So where are the extra troops? These guys? Hi. You need to turn around and go and join up over here or something. Am I over my force limit? Quite a bit, actually. Um, we will need to disband some of these troops. For now, though, let's go take this fight. Okay, Poland loses quite a bit more. Still working on these forts over here. Um... I want to go for the Lithuanian forts, but we just need to keep smashing his army more than anything. If we can deny him a lot of income by sieging down random provinces and stuff, that's pretty decent too. I need to disband a few of you, or we're going to have a problem. I don't want to bleed out too much money. In fact, I actually lost force limit. I lost a lot of force limit. Delete all these troops. I wish I could get my manpower back. That'd be nice. So we actually technically just made ourselves weaker by doing this. Why is Thuringia involved in this, by the way? Do you have a vassal? Does somebody have a vassal that I don't know about? Saxony? You have a personal union with Thuringia. I didn't know that was a thing. Congratulations. That's actually great. Hey, we stopped spying on uh, Poland a while ago, and I'm an idiot for doing that, because we should have continued spying on them. For, I think, obvious reasons. Let's uh, improve relations with Mecklenburg. We'll want to annex them in the future as well. Can we go ahead and integrate the culture of the Pomeranians? We can't right now, but if I first go over here and then turn these into states for free... That should do the job. Okay, now... Yep, we can indeed embrace Pomeranian. Which means we should be getting a lot of extra money and stuff out of this. In fact, I wonder if we just increased our force limit and I was a little bit too hasty. Hey, look, we can catch these troops. Let's do it. That's just mean. Stack wipe again. Boom, baby. Now we have a numbers advantage. Uh, you got a 13 stack moving around up here. Let's see if we can go ahead and ward them off before they can crush any small guys. I want to keep my allies alive. Thank you. Where are you going? You going over to this fort? Is that where you're going, Poland? Are you going to go to this fort? Oh, you're going to this fort? Oh, no, he's going to this fort. 
Brandenburg is allied with Glasgow. That's a very good excuse for me to just go kill Glasgow again. I mean, not again, but just to beat up on Brandenburg. Because I can do these things. Alright, he's trying to retreat. How dare you? Come here. Farmlands? I can handle farmlands. How are we doing in terms of money? Honestly, not that bad, considering. We don't even have to take out any loans in order to win this. I could do some, uh, like, war taxes, but... It'll cost me two a month, and I'm okay on income. Why bother? This has got to hurt, Poland. This has really got to hurt. You are losing a lot. How much manpower do you even have left? 5,000. I think they're about to run out completely. Aw, oh, dude! All right. If we can kill Lithuania, then, we'll have him down. Let's see. We're getting really close to catching some more of his troops. If we can get up over... Oops. Nope. Warsaw. There we go. We won the Siege of Krakow. There it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where else do we have forts to worry about? There's one way down there. Could go for that. Honestly, though, I'm happy with the small stacks going around in carpet sieging. We just crushed 2,000 more troops. I'm going to go hunting with this group, and this group's going to go and go for another siege up in Lithuania in case I want to be able to siege, uh, seize any of the land over here. I'm a little wary of how much aggressive expansion I think we're about to take on. It's going to be a lot. Still, I think it'll be okay. Where are you? Where'd you run off to? He's not over there. Oh, there he is. Found him. We got enough troops. We can crush this. Get him. All right, Lithuania. You're going to lose a lot more. Bye. Okay. And then we're going to go chase down Poland again. Uh, I'm losing a lot of manpower at the moment. I'm aware of this. But I'm about to beat Poland. So... Can I really complain? I think the answer is no. Can I catch out Seely? Hang on. Wait for them to get locked. There it is. We're not going to fight Poland, but we can crush a quick three stack. It's practically nothing. Oh no, you came back to go kill Thuringia. That's rude. No, well, you, you're stuck there now, and you're in uh, bad lands. You're in the grasslands, and I'm about to come kill you, so I can't catch this stack, but who cares? So, um, if Poland wants to focus their attention on fighting Bohemia from here on out, I'm good with that. This is a river crossing. Do you have a good maneuver? You don't. I'm not even going to take the penalty. Who cares? Get crushed. Is that going to be a stack wipe? Ah, not quite. Close, though. Very close to a stack wipe. Another 6,000 sitting right here. Let's consolidate the uh, front line a little bit. Oh, nope, he backed off. Yeah. Honestly, fine. Let's just, uh, let's just carpet siege or something for a minute. Let's just inflict a little bit more damage on him. Ruin his economy. We'll get this fort. That'll be worth a pretty good amount of war score. If we can get to Vilnius, that would be worth a lot more. Don't know if we'll be able to. Maybe. Should be okay for now, though. Um, you guys go over here. We're just gonna carpet siege. Not looking to do much. Poland has decided to commit their troops in Bohemia because they know that fighting me is a losing battle. Good. I'm glad you finally learned your lesson. Hey, we can get another idea group. Or another idea. Idea group. Whatever. We're nine years ahead of time. I think manpower recovery speed makes a lot of sense, given that I was having manpower issues. I do think quantity was absolutely the right call. It's letting me reinforce my manpower a lot faster, which I kind of needed. Let's go siege that. Um, that should be fine. We have another one over here to worry about. We're making pretty good progress on this fort. We won that siege. Let's go for the one in Vilnius. You go here. Ah, uh, Bohemia, you're making for such a beautiful punching bag. This is like one of the best 50 ducats I ever spent. Getting Bohemia to actually join in on all this stuff. I'm glad I paid off that debt. Well worth it by the end of this, I think. We should be able to take a lot of money and really weaken these guys. We could probably break off their relationship with Hungary. Break off the relationship with Hungary, and I wouldn't be surprised if Muscovy decides to start beating up on Poland-Lithuania. Which, on one hand, is bad. Um, oh, wait, am I over my naval force limit? Ooh, yes I am. Uh, let's go ahead and delete a few ships. Let's... dock up for a second, and we'll figure out the rest in a minute. How's my force limit now, by the way? Okay, it's actually 19 out of 19, so we're back where we needed to be. That's fine. Um, let's take a couple of galleys, I think. I could sell them, but I'll be honest, I'm extremely lazy about selling ships. Also, most of the people I could talk to are people like Denmark and stuff, and they hate me, so... Meh. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, so if Muscovy eats a lot of territory, I'm actually gonna tell you guys to stop stacking on me. Go carpet siege things, do what you want. Um, if Muscovy eats a lot, then they're gonna get strong and that's gonna be scary. I'll spend a little bit of money to try and prevent any more issues there. So this fleet is fine and honestly unneeded. I'm gonna go ahead and mothball and save myself a little cash again. Hungary is no longer supporting their dynasty on a losing state. Ha ha ha. Capital of Bohemia might go down. We're at 90% war score, though. What's your war exhaustion? Pretty bad, right? Oh, yeah. Let's uh, pull back a diplomat and see what we can do here. So I'm not obligated to give anyone anything. Because... Oh, wait. What's this? Ooh. Hello. If I wait until January, we can at least get Hesse and Munster out of the potential coalition. This coalition could be scary, but as long as I have Muscovy, Bohemia, Saxony, and such on my side, I don't think this will be a problem, but that might be as much land as I can take. Humiliation would be amazing. I did kind of want to take some... Um, I did kind of want to take some uh, money from you, though. If I don't take Poznan, we don't have any issues for coalitions, like, at all. I could take 444 ducats. But, at the same time, not taking Poznan means he gets to keep a pretty decent high-development province. Is this worth doing with that many people? Poland can't join the coalition. Brandenburg, I don't think, can either. Neither can Stettin. That leaves a handful of nations there who could join. But they're small enough, they probably won't. I really wanted the income. That said, well, we didn't even get war reps. But humiliating's good. I get power projection. I weaken them a lot. We'll get to have an Age of Discovery thing. With the humiliation of a rival... Like, that all matters. I don't know. I think for the moment we're just going to continue carpet sieging because I'm not really worried about Bohemia at all. But... I wanted to be able to do more than I'm currently doing. Well, we won that siege. That's good. I don't suppose... Oh, Celia got occupied. Hang on. I can at least get you out of this. Give me some money and stuff. Yeah? Transfer your trade power. Break off your relationship with Poland, because it's... No, actually, keep the relationship with Poland. I don't want Poland getting another relationship slot. I want them keeping that. That's fine. Revoke a core? Eh. You don't have any rivals, interestingly enough. Sure, I guess we'll do this. All right, let's get them out of there. That puts me at 98% war score. All right, I'm going to end this video here. I need to think about this for a minute and decide what I want to take from them. Um, I think humiliation is great. I think taking some territory could be great. I am worried about coalition potential. This is a lot. And money would let me build up a huge economy quickly. Lots of barracks, lots of other stuff. I don't know. We'll think. All right. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.